We're asked to evaluate the given indefinite integrals. The directions may also say determine the antiderivatives. First, we have the integral of 6 cosecant 4x times cotangent 4x dx. If we look at our basic integration formulas, there is an integration formula for the integral of cosecant x times cotangent x dx, which is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. But in this case, notice how the input is 4x, not just x, which means we will need to perform u substitution. So we're going to let u equal the inner function of 4x. And if u is equal to 4x, notice now the integrand function is 6 cosecant u times cotangent u, which is good, but we still have this dx here. The next step in performing u substitution is to determine differential u, where differential u in this case is equal to the derivative of 4x times dx, giving us differential u is equal to 4 times dx. Notice our integral contains 6 dx, so what I'm going to do here is solve for dx by dividing both sides by 4. So if we divide both sides by 4 and simplify, notice we now have 1 fourth du equals dx. If 1 fourth du is equal to dx, we can now replace dx with 1 fourth du, and we have a simpler integral only in terms of u. So now let's write the integral in terms of u. I'm going to go ahead and factor out the 6. So we have 6 times the integral, and then we have cosecant u times cotangent u, and again, differential x is equal to 1 fourth du. Let's go ahead and factor out the 1 fourth, and then we have differential u. Simplifying, we have 3 halves times the integral of cosecant u times cotangent u, differential u, which is equal to negative cosecant u plus c, giving us 3 halves times negative cosecant u plus c. The last step is to simplify and write this in terms of x, which gives us negative 3 halves times cosecant 4x plus c. And we often identify the result of an indefinite integral or antiderivative using big F of x. So let's go ahead and state that big F of x is equal to negative 3 halves cosecant 4x plus c. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. And now for the second example, we have the indefinite integral of 14 times secant squared 7x dx. And again, we do have a basic integration formula for secant squared x dx, which is equal to tangent x plus c. But again, because we have secant squared of 7x, again, we need to perform u substitution. So we'll let u equal 7x. And again, if u is equal to 7x, the integrand function is now 14 secant squared u. But again, we still have this dx, which is why for the next step, we need to determine differential u. Differential u is equal to the derivative of 7x with respect to x times dx, which gives us 7 dx. Looking back at the integral, we have 14 dx here. So we could multiply both sides by 2 to get 2 du equals 14 dx. Or we can solve for dx by dividing both sides by 7. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 7, which indicates that 1 seventh du is equal to dx. If 1 seventh du is equal to dx, we can replace dx with 1 seventh du and have the integral only in terms of u. So let's write the integral in terms of u. Let's factor out the 14. And then we have the integral of secant squared u and then dx again is equal to 1 7th du. Let's factor out the 1 7th, and then we have du. Simplifying, we have 2 times the integral of secant squared u du, which is equal to 2 times tangent u plus c. But we need to write the final result in terms of x by substituting 7x for u, which gives us 2 tangent of 7x plus c for the indefinite integral or the antiderivative. So let's go ahead and write this as big F of x equals 2 times the tangent of 7x plus c. Once again, this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the integrand function of 14 secant squared 7x. I hope you found this helpful.